Hello friends, uh, so today we're going to be going over uh, Grand Central Dispatch GCD. So what is the use of GCD? So GCD is actually a C API and it is used for used for doing doing tasks in the background. So you have a front thread and you have a back thread. So you can assign tasks to the back thread and meanwhile you can keep on operating on the front thread. This is the main this is the main use of GCD to have multiple threads going on. So what happens like Facebook so when you open a Facebook, you see uh, you see like some data, but what is actually happening? That is the front thread, and then on and then on the back thread, there is uh, the back thread is calling the database and getting the data, and once the data is fetched by the back thread, then it shows onto the front thread. This is the concept of back thread, front thread, and the back threads can be multiple threads, can be say like seven twenty threads, and in the but the front thread will be only one, which will be talking to you and is responsible to only talk to you. So this is the concept of multiple threads. So in our objective C iOS, we deal with queues. So what happens? So we assign blocks to queues, and then the operating system comes up and puts one queue to one uh, one thread, another queue to another thread, and uh, and that's how it works. So we are not dealing with threads directly. We are only dealing with queues. So we assign blocks to queues. So now there are three types of queue. One is the main queue, one is the concurrent queue, and one is the serial queue. So we're going to be using serial queues and the main queue. So the main queue is for the UI part and the serial queue is the one that I would be using. That is one after the other. So we will not be dealing with concurrent queues. It's not that efficient. Okay. So basically, so these queues are responsible for uh, going onto the back thread and then getting the data and then and then working on the front front part on the front thread. So, uh, so, so like these are the main functions that we'll be using. This is the uh, dispatch queue. This was the, this is the dispatch queue. So this is to create a variable for the queue. Dispatch queue create. This is to put. This is to define a block, which we discussed in the earlier session, session number nine, if I believe. And then you assign assign a queue to a block. And then there are more ones that if you want to use a current queue, if you want to access the main queue. So these are the actual commands. So, so let's open the Xcode project and get started. Let's open the Xcode, create a new Xcode project. Q U E U E T R Y. Okay. So we have these queues. Let's make a void that appears. Uh, so we just do dispatch dispatch just make a few variable dispatch q create Dispatch Q U E U E. Let's get them. dispatch Q create. And then you say dispatch Q my first Q. Common null. So this one you cannot give nil and I L because this is a this is a C API and it will only take uh, none. So now the method you have to call is dispatch async. Then it takes a queue which you can give the queue variable, queue var, and then the block we can define the block. NS log. Hi, how are you? So now what will happen, see? <coughs> so this dispatch async is called somewhere in the background. So it's never called on, never called in the sequence because this is a background thread going on which will be assigned task to.
so it will break over here and see it it will not go inside the it will not go inside the block instead see so it jumped on and then when you hit run and now afterwards it will be made this is the concept of async that that the task that this block is assigned to this queue and this queue is called in the background not in the front end okay this is the concept of queues now let's do this so let's try to assign some task to it okay so i have a link so have a link so this is a link of an image let's assign data data star data 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 with data with contents of url now you give a url so it can't give static so you say ms url url with string and now you give it the data so basically now the data will be inside the data okay so now the data is there in the data now we want to load it in the image view so go to your storyboard and add image view so you go to make 4 inches add an image view to it okay and then you set the outlet okay so now since we have set the outlet so now we can just give the UI image, uh, image view, image view dot image equals to uh, image image name um, So we have to get it from the data image with data. Okay, so now we have assigned the stars to the background thing. Okay, we are, okay. First thing, let's just try it without the queue. Okay, so now we are doing everything in the front row. Okay, so the app persists. Just the NS. Security layer, so you have to add these lines to your info.plist. How do you add it? So you go to the plist, right click, open a source code, and then inside the source code, you add these lines key transfer security. So basically, you're saying that transfer ATS, stop the ATS, and do all the arbitrary downloads. So once you do this, now it will work for you. So see, it takes a while, right? After the app starts. It takes a while. Now we will put it on to queues. So you say dispatch async, and then you run it. So now it should be faster, right? Because we're doing on the background thread. But it's not coming. Why? Because all the UI part has to be done on the front thread. So you again call the front thread. So you say dispatch async, dispatch. So you say get main queue. Okay. So now it should be pretty fast. See, as soon as the app opens, it just it just pops up. So that's how you do the GCD part. So you have to use uh, just as the method dispatch async, which takes in account a queue and a block. This is the same thing, and you can make a variable of a block, or you can have the same thing over here. So you can just have this thing. 
So instead of making a variable, you can simply create a queue over here and then, and then get started. That's it. Okay guys, so that's it for today for GCD. So once again, GCD is just queues. So you assign blocks to queues and then the operating system come and then it assign different queues or different blocks. So it's based on a uh, first in first out basis. So it's a queue and not a stack because based on first in first out. So the first queue that comes in is the first queue that is uh, that is uh, like that is executed. And async stands for like stop my other task, do it and serialize. Okay, thank you guys. So if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, and keep on coming back for more cool videos of of iOS. Thank you.